Hello everybody, this is Abraham Agnoshore Computer Services and what we have here today is a hard drive with a very unusual problem. This hard drive right here, it's connected through a USB, SATA to USB uh, adapter to the computer right there. And here's what it does. I love it. Uh, works just fine. However, there is a problem with the hard drive. It didn't work just then. There we go. So, there is a bearing on a hard drive that failed. That sound that you hear is platters disbalanced. Um, normally, turn it on and uh, it would just start uh, making that noise. I'm sure if somebody had worked with a computer in the past have heard uh, fans go do this. Basically uh, you have the shaft of the... Just show you. So if this is a fan, uh, this would be the shaft. As it spins, the bearing in which the shaft sits uh, starts wearing out. So uh, there is no ball bearings in here, just like in most fans. Some fans use ball bearings. Uh, they produce a different sound. They produce like a grinding sound. This is sound where the platter sits on top of the shaft and it starts vibrating like this. That's the sound you hear. Um, <coughs> There is no way to easily recover data from this hard drive and of course somebody needs data from it. So I want to show you one of the ways that I figured out how to um, make this hard drive work. And uh, this is trial and error. I have not had to open the hard drive because it's pointless. You cannot replace the motor on the hard drive. <coughs> The motor is actually part of the case itself, it's sealed in the case. This is the bearing that went bad. Um, in the past I have seen some like this and I was trying to uh, get this bottom piece out so I could put a little bit of oil in there. That's all it needs, a little bit of oil, just so you can recover the data. There is no way to get it. This piece right here is actually glass. Um, you cannot drill through it to put a drop of oil. If you take it out, the platters on which it sits, uh, or, or the shaft with the platters, will fall down. And if it does, it'll stop working, so you make the situation worse. Um, this is a very, very rare condition of the hard drive. I've seen it in the past, uh, and I've tried all kinds of ways to circumvent that. Couldn't do it. So one of the ways that I found out, and I've actually recovered data from it, so I'm just showing what I've done, and hopefully this time it'll work. Just the same as the previously. So I have this uh, heat gun right here. I'll turn it on. And the goal is to warm up the actual uh, bearing around the shaft so it expands and becomes smaller. Basically it expands on the outside, pushes on the inside and sits, lets the shaft sit just long enough for us to recover the data. Um, and like I said, I was able to do that. I did have to do it in several stages. There's quite a bit of stuff on this, but I was able to get everything out. So what we're doing here right now is we're going to warm up the bearing housing so that it expands and pushes on the bearing. Interestingly enough, what I've discovered, if the hard drive works long enough, it becomes warm. So you may have heard where 
uh, you put a hard drive in the freezer and it works uh, after that. Well, this is the opposite of that. Um, freezing a hard drive, basically, I've never been successful in, in freezing a hard drive. But um, warming the bearing, that definitely worked in this situation. Okay, so I can feel the warmth we're going to plug in. And another, turn off the heater, another thing that I'm doing is I'm going to relieve the pressure, just lower the camera a little bit, from the bearing completely. So in this position, the platters are actually hanging and there is no pressure on here, it's hanging down. Let's try it. Uh, once you get it working, you can see that it's being recognized on the computer or as a ding dong. Once you get it working, once the information is available, and as you can hear, it doesn't vibrate yet. It might, but um, like I said, I've done it in the past and I was successful. Um, just uh, did it again. So back to the drawing board. I have to turn it off. Now, another thing that's critical, and you can see it says right there that the hard drive disappeared and can't see just so yeah. oh well um, another thing that we have to do is uh, make sure that there is no shaking and I was holding this in hand whereas when I was recovering stuff I actually had it um, a lot more in, in a sturdy position so we'll use some other factors. Transfer the on off. Okay. So now it's a little sturdier, and uh, what you want to do in this situation probably is uh, um, screw the hard drive down to something firm so that there is no vibration going in it because vibration is what um, allows platters to start moving around um, without warming up the bearing I wasn't able to uh, start and do much with the hard drive once the bearing is warm and the hard drive ran for a while I was able to actually start getting the stuff off of it. Like I said, it did take a couple of tries, uh, but I did get all the stuff off the hard drive. Let's see. And right now, because I'm doing everything, not as easy to do. Okay, so I don't know if it's visible or not. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see, what is this? Okay, you can see that the hard drive has actually appeared on the computer right here. That's the, oh come on, my mouse got stuck. Uh, this right here is actually the hard drive. Um, I gotta change to, okay. Um, the last one right here is this. Well, both of the both of the other ones, uh, the recovery and the OS, are coming from here, from the hard drive. Um, it is possible to do. Uh, it is tricky to do, but doable. So hopefully this helps somebody 
and uh, if you have any questions sure put it in the comments but for this particular hard drive there is no need to disassemble it open it and there is no way that you would be able to um, help this hard drive by opening it up uh, this is mechanical problem get the bearing warm and get your data out as soon as possible let's see if we can start there see bad move and started vibrating just turn it off let it sit very very interesting specimen um, but thankfully recoverable if you like my videos please subscribe if you have any questions post it in comments